Hi family, it's me, Miss Sam. How are you? Hugs and kisses to you. I'm chilling, maxing and relaxing. Well, not really maxing, but just relaxing. Hey. Anywho, CC Winans has been talking about I'm Every Woman and how the lyrics are demonic and that she refused to be in the video with Whitney Houston um, because for that song because um, she said it's demonic, it's evil, and it's satanic, and she wants no parts of it. Now, you know, C.C. Winans is real old school, old guard, Pentecostal, charismatic. She Baptist, you know, Church of Holiness. Oh, gosh. And, you know, part of the Winans family, Church, one of the most churchiest families ever so let's um think about the lyrics for a moment okay now in the video actually there was whitney you know rest in peace whitney houston we miss you so much lady we miss you so much whitney do you know that your death just messed everybody up Like things really changed in LA um, for a lot of people. I know Whitney's death really impacted me when I was in LA. Really just changed the course of things. Um, it was my first experience with Hollyweird and the, the strangeness of Hollyweird, which is really, really funny because I lived in K-Town. I lived off of um, Wilshire Boulevard and call it Mariposa, <laughs> Wilshire Mariposa, call it that. Uh, of course, near Wilshire and Vermont and so on. But you know, that part of K-Town, it really is it, kind of like, would you say it's like Northeast South? Northeast South. You could call it South Hollywood. Because it's not that far from Hollywood Boulevard. It's not that far from like Little Bangladesh and then Little Armenia and, and going over that way. It's not far at all. And when Whitney passed away, of course the Grammys was, they were preparing for the Grammys. And it was so busy there. We were up on by the Peninsula Hotel. I've said this before many times before. The Peninsula Hotel is Peninsula is right across the road from the Hilton. Now, when I mentioned this last time, some of you confused it with the Beverly Hotel. It's not the Beverly Hotel. The hotel that you confuse the Beverly Hilton with, the Beverly Hilton Hotel, you can confuse it with the Beverly with the Beverly Hotel, Beverly Wilshire. That one is across the road from Rodeo Drive. You've got Rodeo, Rodeo Drive. You've got the Tiffany Fountain. Stand by the Tiffany Fountain and look onto Wilshire Boulevard and you'll see the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. Okay? That's not where Whitney died. <laughs> okay? She died at the Hilton Hotel up the road. It's about three or four blocks up. Okay? Going towards Santa Monica Boulevard. Right? It's like if you're going towards Westwood. And you're going towards Santa Monica, okay, and the Beverly Center and so on and, and all that, right? If you're going down to Wilshire Boulevard, if you're going to head down to where the St. Monica statue is, there's a St. Monica statue with lights there, okay? St. Monica, Santa Monica, well, her statue is there, okay? So, um, if she is your patron saint, you can go and pray there as well. You can leave her offerings there too, you can. Anywho, as I was saying, so the death of Whitney Houston messed up a lot of people. Right, back to the video. So who was in the video with Whitney? Well, we had Shaka Khan, right? The fabulous Shaka Khan, whose song it was. And um, we had TLC, okay, rest in peace, left eye. She was in it. Chili, t Boz. Um... Who else was in the video? Do you know something? 
it's very odd, but I've just had a, um, like my memory in regards to that video has kind of interfaced with the, the Destiny's Child No, No, No video. Remember that video? Got me saying no, 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 no. When it's really yes, 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 yes. Right, remember that video? Okay, that version of No, No, No by Destiny's Child? For some reason, I just had an interface. it interface. They kind of, the energy transferred from one to the other. So I don't know if the same people that were in that video were also in the Destiny's Child video. I don't know. There's got to be some kind of spiritual um, connection between these two videos. Or maybe it's the demonic energy. Boy, I know you want me. I can see it in your eyes. Ain't no time to talk and don't you say what's on your mind. Cause each and every time you forget. See you on the corner, but you don't know what to say. Okay, well, that's not about a demon. That's about Beyonce kind of taunting a guy saying, you know, I want you. I really, really want you, but you're playing games with me. What's up? Now, I'm every woman. It's all in me. Anything you want done, baby, I do it naturally. Whoa, that's a demon. Whoa, whoa. Several demon voices. I can cast a spell. <laughs> there you go. So that you can tell. Now, Shaka Khan, that name Shaka and Khan, isn't that an ancient African, South African Zulu warrior name? Well, she put two names together, like Shaka Zulu. Tremendous, fantastic warrior energy, divine masculine warrior energy. And what tribe did Shaka Zulu come from? Was the Shona tribe? No, Shona, that's East Africa, isn't it? A Zulu tribe. Okay. So, <laughs> I am in Africa, but you know, Africa is such a huge continent. So, we have Shaka with this Zulu energy, perhaps, and Khan, like Genghis Khan, Asian. Southeast Asian energy. And I believe that Shaka Khan was involved in some kind of black consciousness movement. You know, she was like Yvette, her name is. She was like a female Dr. Uba. And then she kind of softened up once she got into the entertainment game am i thinking right am i thinking wrong so anyway she softened up and started singing tell me something good with old rufus which was the the group and they were some funky cold-blooded white boys with some uncommon funk soul in them you, they don't make them like that anymore you know they don't make people like that anymore i mean those 70s musicians <laughs> now you now you'll uh dance and sing to all this crap music what they got nowadays that ain't music that's foolishness Whatever you hear on the radio nowadays is foolish, it's trash. The 70s and the 80s. Are you kidding me? Go back and listen to Shaka as well. Anyway, the people who are watching this, y'all know about Shaka Khan. So she started singing about Tell Me Something Good and all the rest of it. And I'm Every Woman was one of those as well. I can cast a spell so that you can tell. I can make a special groove and put fire inside of you. Fire is action. So, 
fire element something to make you do something make you feel something make you go out and do something i'm every woman it's all in me anything you want done baby i'll do it naturally every woman that's multiple so this is a woman who has conjured the energies of several female demons inside of her and she's saying to her man whatever you want whatever you need baby anything you want done baby i'll do it naturally and she's saying because i'm every woman and just in case you didn't get it every woman it's all in me can you imagine big spell casting <laughs> hey boy have any of you ever tried to uh, sing that to your boyfriends or your girlfriends huh don't just work on men you know it works on women too i won't encourage you to try it you know <clears throat> because you see you see the thing about it is what well, some of y'all don't understand i know that some of y'all do not understand <laughs> because y'all are surprised by witchcraft every day but these things work and if you cast a spell by using the lyrics and singing cantor by singing <laughs> the lyrics of this highly provocative and um what do you call it it's a song that influences what's the other word for it it you can it's incantation I <laughs> I, you know satan was the chief musician Ooh, he knew about those notes which notes to bing bang bong so that it stays within your consciousness and it seeps down into your soul anything you want done baby that means your man's not supposed to look anywhere else because everything he wants is inside of your bitch. Why are you looking out there? No. What you want out there is here. Just say what you want. It's a bit like, you know, when you go to these restaurants out here in Africa, right? <laughs> hey, boy. <laughs> Africa is different, family. <laughs> it's different. You go to a restaurant and anything you want, if it's not on the menu, they can make it for you. You hear what I said to you? You'll go to a restaurant in Marrakesh or in Cairo, like I have been over the past few months. And, you know, Auntie Sam, I'm very expressive, very polite, but very expressive. If I don't see something on the menu that I want, or if I see something and I want it, you know, this is something. And I want it in a particular way. I will, you know. But I don't want it like this. Can you do it like that for me? Okay, merci beaucoup. Merci, monsieur. I do all that. Because what they do is they come to me and they say, you want this? And I say, yes, but, uh, pero, uh, uh, but uh, I want it um, you know, just a little. Um, petit, petit, petit. And they will say to me, okay, well, we can't. We can do it like that or we can't do it like that. But whatever you want, madame. Whatever is okay, madame. I get it for you. Hey, that's why I love Egypt so much, you know. Because whatever you want, whatever you need, baby. Egypt can do it for you, baby. They will do it naturally. Talking of enchantment. Hey. So anyway, long story short, Cece uh, says she wants no parts of Shaka's demonic song. As you know, Shaka was higher than Giraffe Kuta. <laughs> giraffe testicles. High for the majority of the 70s. That's how she made all those songs. Uh, that's how she made all those noises. Do you notice? Shaka hit some notes. 
all those notes are very unnatural for you ever hear anybody use them notes before no only shaka yeah 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 a bit like you know edda james when she was high she made some fire songs when satan was inside of her oh sometimes and she'd be sweating i got a feeling you yeah. i got a feeling that i never 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 had before no 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 yeah. I gotta tell you right now that uh, huh, uh, I really do believe that. I said I really do believe that. Hmm, something got a hold of me. Something's got a hold of her. <laughs> Satan had a hold of her. The devil, the devil card. Hook, line, and sinker chains all over Edda James, pulling her down and yanking her down. Big heavy drug addiction, same as Shaka. Them same chains. You know who else was on them chains as well? My girl, my baby Amy Winehouse. Hmm. Amy was fighting and wrestling with the devil. She said, they're trying to make me go to rehab. And I said, no, no, no. Yes, I've been black. And when I come back, it's... I ain't got the time. She's singing into the bottle. Because if my daddy, that's Mitch. She's talking about Mitch, her daddy. If my daddy says I'm fine. They try to make me go to rehab, but I won't go, go, go. Until Amy was out of here, gone to glory. The man said, why do you think you're here? He had a denial demon inside of her. I said, I have no idea. Now she's singing to the demon inside of her now. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I always keep a bottom near. That's the jack. Said I just think you're depressed. This me. Yeah, maybe, and the rest. So what we have are some tortured women singing their way through pain. But it's the devil that they're singing to. Why are you making me go through this? Why must I suffer? You know I love you. Now, when Shaka was singing that song, I'm Every Woman, which man was she singing it to? She was singing it to the devil. She's singing it to the devil because she's saying to the music industry, you're not going to get rid of me. I know how you do this conveyor belt thing, murder and then stardom, murder and stardom. You kill one and raise another. Well, I'm Shaka Khan, bitch, and I'm here to stay. I'm every woman. It's all in me. Any contract you want now, baby, I do it naturally. You can make money off of me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I will make money for you, Clive Davis. You don't need to get rid of me. I saw what you did to all of them. I saw what you did to Phyllis. Shaka was so messed up that when they killed Whitney, she couldn't even believe it. She came on the camera high and said, my God, the devil has won again. Huh. He's won again. Anyhow, that's why CC Winers doesn't want no parts of it. <laughs> she said, it could have been me. And it should have been me. And it would have been me. That's what Dorinda sang, isn't it? Dorinda had a little run-in with drugs and addiction too. 
if it wasn't for the blood. I remember when the world said to them, you clock sisters, come over here, come. Bring your balm of Gilead over here. <laughs> Remedies used in the Bible days. They said, come, bring it over here to heal the sick and take away the pain. Come take away the pain in this world over here. Come out the church. Come, come, come. So much so that the devil almost persuaded Matty Moss Clark. And the church said, hell no. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Deaconess, Mrs. Choir Mistress Extraordinaire, Mrs. Clark. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. You've got to come to a meeting with us. Your daughter's going out in, into the world singing the boogie woogie, the reggae beat, the da 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 da. Huh? That Stevie Wonder inspired reggae beat music. What's Twinkie doing? Thumping out a reggae beat on those keys? Hell no. Uh uh uh. We at Kojic, Church of God in Christ. Ooh. We, we don't do that. You got to choose. So that's why Karen sang, though we are tried like silver in the fire <laughs> with those tantalizing lucrative contracts. We come out as pure gold. We must be refined and then we need to shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Twinkie said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they never stopped worshiping the king. <laughs> ah, hallelujah. So that's why Cece said, Nope, Shaka, I love you. But no. Whitney, girl, Whitney, girl, girl, Whitney. You know I love you, Whitney, but I can't do it. So this has been a video just kind of talking through what Cece said. Ashe, bless. And if you do want to, um, uh, should I mention that I do tarot readings? Yes, I do tarot readings. If you want a nice, gentle, godly reading. Come over to www.celestiotarries.com Because, uh, look, come here, let me whisper something to you. Shh, shh, shh. Listen, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I read for a lot of first ladies and church folks. Yes, shh. Don't say nothing. Shh. Bless. Chukudalo.